Now I want to tell you a little bit about uh, a common animal that we'll find in the pet trade. Uh, this is the Chilean rose hair tarantula. The scientists refer to it as Gramostola rosea. And uh, like the name implies, you'll find him uh, originally in the uh, scrublands of uh, Chile, from especially in an area called the Atacama Desert. And uh, the rose hair tarantula gets his name. The males have a, a pink rose color right here on uh, a part of their body called the cephalothorax. That's where the head and the thorax have fused together. And you can see he's got a pair of spinnerets coming from his abdomen here. And if I move him over, let's see if we can get him to go after something he'll eat in the wild. They eat small crickets and other invertebrates. And he senses the vibrations with those hairs. So let's see if he'll take some prey. We may have gotten him a little too worked up to go after the prey. Well, these spiders are common prey for lizards and other small mammals, birds, and so forth. And what they'll do as a defensive behavior when they feel threatened, they'll rear up on their, their back legs and uh, extend the, the front pedipalps, the front pair of appendages. They'll extend their fangs in a warning. But if that doesn't work, they'll often flick these irritating hairs, called urticating hairs, off their abdomen. Let me turn them around so you can get a good view of the spinnerets here. And I'll try to get a little web going. There we go. We've got a nice strand of web coming out. Now, unlike a, a group of animals called the true spiders, this animal's chelicerae, or fangs, are arranged to move up and down like this. True spiders, like black widows and the brown recluse that we're familiar with, will have their fangs arranged to pinch on the side. So these are very uh, a, a primitive form of the, the spider family. They evolved before the, uh, the true spiders did. And uh, this is the Chilean rosehair tarantula, another amazing terrestrial invertebrate.